the reality is if we stay home for two weeks, we could shut this thing down and everybody has to do it. Otherwise, we're just making this uh, last longer than it needs to. Quebec is cracking down on social distancing measures to stop the spread of COVID-19. But when it comes to containing the virus, how does Quebec compare to other provinces? Not good, according to an interactive map made by three Dawson College professors, with the confirmed number of cases in the province rising higher and faster than anywhere else in the country. The more slanted that line is, the faster the rate of cases is doubling. So we want to see that line flatten to the to become flat like this because that will that that means that the actions we took probably 10 days earlier made it so that less new infections were happening. Quebec currently leads the country in the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19, topping 6,000. But according to three Dawson College teachers, that number doesn't tell the whole story. We really wanted to normalize for population. A lot of places we just get the raw number of cases, a lot of dashboards out there and graphs. Uh, but the raw number of cases, if you have 1,000 cases in a small town, that's very different than 1,000 cases in a big country. The live graph tracks number of cases per million people and the number of tests performed, but doesn't include the number of deaths. It's updated daily with data from the University of Toronto, John Hopkins University and the New York Times. The graph also explores how each of the province's preventative and social distancing measures affected the curve. And while Quebec may not hold up well against other regions, there's a possible explanation. You can see right there that Quebec um, tested more than a lot of places per capita. And also what is hard to demonstrate with the numbers, but we, we at least try to present it, is that Quebec also tested most probable cases. So what we want to hope is while the numbers are high, at some point they're going to really level off because Quebec did a very good job of testing the most probable people. The Quebec government has started taking stricter measures to contain the virus, including fines between $1,000 and $6,000 for those not practicing social distancing. And it's these Quebecers Samir hopes the data will reach. We hope that this graph kind of makes that positive feedback loop. People see it and see that you know, our individual actions are slowly going to start to flatten that, that curve. In Montreal, Sharon Yonan-Reynolds, City News.